Happy New Year to you. I This is wonderful to have you back on. I know you're making the rounds today. So how, how's everything been going? I know you're out. I'm off to, you, a, I'm off to a good start, dude. <laughs> well, that's that's off to a good start for any day, of course. So what's going on out in, out in the Vegas area? Weather doing okay? I'm going to be there in a couple of weeks. So I, I got to make sure the weather is going to be better than it is here. Yeah, I actually don't live in Vegas. I live in, a, in La La Land. Oh! Um, and yeah, so we just got slammed, as you know, with all of that weather. I saw and that. I was actually in te- uh, Texas, I almost said. Um, I was in uh, Mexico for a corporate show over the last few days and came through a cluster of a flight home yesterday. But I'm home oh, now. You flew yesterday. I, I can't imagine just what a disaster that was. We got It get, was a disaster. But we got to get going on that. We, we've had some transportation issues here in America lately. So we got to get that going. So, but a bit of crazy time for you, a busy time. Robin, I remember having you on before you released your first solo album. Right. You had some apprehension about doing it. <laughs> you did. Don't I and, always. <laughs> and the results were so positive that now we have another one. It's called Alive. It comes out February 17th. But do you feel more solidified now that you have a solo album under your belt and now that Frontiers has taken such an interest in you? The new single is out alive. Yeah, and a new single tomorrow, actually. Second single comes out tomorrow. New video, too. Um, yes, to all of that. Um, you know, we decided after we, you know, what am I going to do with this first one? Will anybody listen to it? The, the response was, was really, it was, it was overwhelming. It was great. It was great. I, I had no expectations whatsoever. And I, I, ne- I never do just to get that clear because I'm just happy that I have an opportunity to actually continue to record music. And if somebody listens to it, that's an additional bonus. So here we are with the second one alive. Um, we decided that we would move on with different writers and, and, and do something a little bit more with slightly harder edge to it. Um, still very melodic. And um, I'm very happy with the, with the results. The videos were a blast to do. The artwork was always fun. I just love getting dug in on that sort of stuff. So yeah, um, I'm, I couldn't be, I'm in a, in, in a good place, thank God. You are, and this this album, which I've had a chance to check out the whole thing, um, dare I make a prediction on what the single can be? Can we talk about it? What What is this new single and video? I, I, I always thought that, mm, can't go on would be a great video and single. Am I close? Third one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we will actually, we're saving that for the drop date of the whole album. Wow. Okay. So I'm, I'm on the right track here. This so is... you're, you're in, you're in there. So the new single uh, will be, uh, I think it's the third track. Feel like hell. Plus. Uh, oh yeah. Feel like hell is the fourth track. Okay. Yeah, it's like a little hell. different. Uh, I wasn't sure. Um, they, they, the label goes, please pick this one. This, this would be great. And, and I thought we would go for maybe the endless mile. There was a toss up. It's a bit harder edge and it's a bit more topical in terms of the, uh, the lyrical content. Um, but that's what it is. And the video is like a mini movie. It is like something that people won't expect to yeah. see doing that sort of stuff. So, And Alive was such a hit. That was such a strong, powerful video with oh, almost 100,000 views, I think, right now on yeah. YouTube, which is tremendous yeah. and just great feedback from, uh, you know, all over the, the soundscape here. So uh, Alive is the name of the album. And it just kind of, I mean, the whole thing kind of just presents this aura of, it's got, like you said, we're, we're, it's got a very strong punch to it. A very hard. It's it's a little heavier, I think, maybe than than standing yeah. on the edge. And yeah. the musicianship is through the roof. So they've the, they've set you up with some tremendous musicians. If, and guys that we uh, used on on the on standing on the edge, um, uh, which I really wanted because I, I love Nicholas uh, Papapico on drums. I absolutely love Andrea Cervaso's guitar mm. playing. It's just. He's just, the guy is, he's a young kid. He's seeped in, in melody, but it's good classic foundation. And, and he just, he dials it in every time. And it's just, it's just, I love listening to his stuff. So um, the added bonus on that part of it is, and of course, uh, Alessandro de Vecchio, again, you, you know, he does something a little bit different for me every time because people are always going, oh, he does so much, but he, I love what he does for me. I love what he does for me. He plays bass, he plays keys, he engineers, he produces. It's like, for God's sake, dude, get a life. And and big kudos to him. He just uh, 
with his beautiful wife. He just has a new baby boy. So he got off to a great start in this new year of 2023. So wow. he's, he's the man. So Frontiers will actually um, uh, resume their Frontiers Festival um, gigs this year. And I'll be part of that. So we'll get to play a lot of these songs live and maybe throw in some uh, Black Swan as well. Okay, just a second, Robin. I got to book my quick plane ticket yeah. to Italy. Uh, Italy? Okay, got Milan, it. Got it Milan. You oh, need there to it is. Yeah. Uh, we're, yeah. we're in. Um, that's yeah. tremendous. The musicianship, the the songs. I mean, I just think that everything about this is really hitting its stride for you. And I'm so glad to see it because I remember talking to you before, uh, prior to Standing on the Edge. And I think that what a step that was and what a step this is. And you talk about, you know, getting a life. You're so busy, Robin. You did, I believe you did a, a whole handful of um, Michael Schenker 50th anniversary dates this past yeah. spring and summer. Yeah. And I was disappointed at first because uh, I did see MSG open for Wasp here in the States. It, you, of course, were not a part of that, but Ronnie Romero, who I had never heard sing with MSG before, was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Of course, I still miss missed you, but man, Ronnie did a great job. But how was it doing the, the shows with Michael this summer? Oh, we had such a blast because initially Ronnie was to do it. Something happened. I jumped in at the last minute and we, I did all of the Europe. I was only supposed yep. to do four. I ended up doing the entire show plus uh, festivals in the UK and Sweden. And we had a, we had a blast. Michael was just on the money and uh, I love doing it. I love the tunes and uh, why wouldn't I want to do it? It's, it's, you know, more, 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 more. <laughs> that's it. That's your attitude. Now I got to ask, I got to ask about rating the rock vault. Uh, they've announced some dates coming up here for 2023. Are you going to be a part of that? What's going on? Um, with the rock vault? I decided to, after seven years and some 1500 shows, I went, you know, throughout the pandemic, I got to be home with my boys and my wife and, and I, I had did a lot of Shanker stuff and I went, you know, I like getting back out on the road. I like, I like doing the festivals and the live shows and and rock vault is great but you can get stuck in a rut and and you forget to do your own what you're what what, what you started out your business for and i i don't want that to take second place um but there are some stuff coming up potentially in march like a 10th anniversary that that, that uh, it looks like I'll, I'll be part of um, but I'm not going back in on a regular basis. No. Interesting. Well, I, it was always one of my favorite shows. Got to see you several times there. So you're saying that you sang like Stairway to Heaven, Eye of the Tiger, 1500 times. Yes, sir. Every night of the week. Well, five nights of the week. Yeah. Six nights of the week at one point, but then down to five nights. Yeah. I mean, I've yeah. sang it a lot in my car, but I don't know about 1500 times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I'll tell you, Flint, you can still walk out at times because you know, you're, you're in a daze or you're just tired or fatigued or whatever and you can go shoot what's the opening line i can't remember <laughs> That's you, how actually, you can forget and you need to kick up the butt and you're going oh there it is <laughs> well robin for you i've always said you know every time i have you on i have to tell you you're, you're one of my favorite singers that your voice is to the test of time and a lot of the press materials for the from frontiers and from our good friend john freeman talks about that your your age your uh, your age your <laughs> voice knows no time oh. this is this is a compliment because there are so many singers and i you know i love veteran bands that's what i you see them all behind me they're those uh from from kiss to maiden to alice cooper to all of you all of you guys that help formulate this thing we like to call hard rock music not every singer still has what you have do, do you feel blessed or do you feel like that you've Maybe no. singing Eye of the Tiger 1,500 times keeps no, that of muscle course. alive. Uh, of course I feel blessed. Um, um, you know, I have that, that, that old Irish pride. And, and um, I have this, this, this thing that people go, come on. But I have this thing about being dignified in performing. And I'm going, okay, if I was you, a younger person, I'm sitting looking at this older guy going, hey, dude, you know, maybe maybe it's time. And I'm thinking, I would hate to hear that. You know, I would hate to hear that. So I try to stay ahead of that and, and watch myself and, and listen to myself and, and, and always tell myself that I will know when I am not up, mm. up, to, up, up to it. And, and I will, I will politely step back 
and I don't feel like I'm there yet. I hope um, I take great care of my my boys. I'm really really particular about live performance and and uh, whether I can cut it. And so far, so good. And uh, the, the day will come, and I will go. Thank you, and good night. You know, and that day is not tomorrow. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it is not because we got a lot of stuff coming up here. A lot of stuff Robin. to do. Yeah. Um, I got to ask you about Black Swan because I think that uh, for last year, and I think that's the last time we actually had you on. You yeah, know, Black Swan has t- has kind of turned into this thing that it really t- took off, and from 2022, um, you know, the the album Generation Mind was so it was so in the forefront, and and the musicianship. Talk about musicianship. I mean, you put together you, Red Beach, Jeff Pilson, and Matt Starr, and Great I mean, this stuff. is it's just been magic. So, kind of what's going on with that? Anything yeah, coming up? I, I heard through the, uh, I was going to say, I heard through the paperwork, maybe it was. Um, I think we will do another record. Um, we're still still hoping that we can, a situation will create itself, that we can actually perform some Black Swan songs. I'm hoping that somewhere, maybe on the, on the uh, Frontier Festival, that that opportunity will open itself up and that we'll just all be there. Well, we won't just by coincidence all be there. We'll, we will know and hopefully we can uh, get some of those tunes out live because I think it really deserves to be heard live because it's it's great stuff. It's I love it. I it's, love it. it is. It's so big and so grandiose. It. It's there's so... love, it. love it, love it, love it. I mean, yeah. Frontiers has been so important, I think, for for fans like myself, for artists like you, that it, they, it's like they they're so beautifully able to fit veteran artists and newer bands that kind of all fit into this beautiful kind of melodic hard rock realm, album oriented rock, whatever you want to call it. How important has that been for you? I mean, obviously, you know, Black Swan, your solo stuff, and there's so many other things. I just uh, heard with the uh, Revolution Saints, who's yeah, a tremendous band. With Jeff, yeah, Jeff is yeah. With, with Joel Hoekstra. And, and you know, they, they, have, they, have, they have the tools, and now they have most of the bands to be able to uh, integrate all of those different people and, and go, hey, that'll be interesting to put the singer with, with this and, and create still the classic rock sound, but, but just give it a, another flavor. And, you know, that's what music is supposed to do. There's this, you shouldn't be stuck in a bag because, you know, I don't want to sing the same song all the time. You know, it's, it's, I can sing quite a, a variety of material and I want to be able to be free to do that. So if that means that I sing with somebody else, it'll still be me or whoever the other singer is or whoever bass player, guitar player, drummer, it'll still be their style. Um, provided you're allowed to be who you are in that new situation. And I think that's what's important. I, I don't want to get lost in, 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 you know, doing something that I don't feel comfortable doing because, because that's, that's not my thing. You know? Yeah. You have always, and I think that that's maybe what has a, as a testament to you and your legacy is that you have been a part of bands, been a part of just maybe right place at the right time. I mean, how, how important is just that aspect in, in the last 50 years for you? I mean, you grew up in Ireland, you come yeah. out here and it just, this whole crazy yeah. world opens you up. You know, you know, if, 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 if you're looking for, I suppose the best way to break it down is if you're looking for a job, you know, if you're not an accountant, you're not going to take a job as an accountant. If you're not a, if you're not a bricklayer, there's no point in pretending that you are a bricklayer. You have to stick to what it is that you're good at and make it work for that situation. So I'm not going to answer uh, a call that's just out, just not in my comfort zone because I, I would be doing a disservice to, to that call. That's just, that's just how I, I break it down. And I go, thanks, no thanks. It's just, you know, I would destroy it for you. You know, there's a different guy that's going to be better at this than me. And if the cap fits, as they say, right. And it has so so often for you. And that's uh, so great. Have you, I mean, obviously, you know, Michael just winds up his 50th year, 50th anniversary of, of performing, which doing the math on that, that puts him at like 15 years old when he's out there performing. That's just what a virtuoso he is. So it was his um, birthday on Monday, by the way. Oh my gosh. He turned, <laughs> he, okay. He turns what? 46. I mean, Michael. 40, 46. What yes. is it about these uh, shankers that uh, they just don't age? I mean, is it just, I, I, I don't know what it is. Rudolph too. It's unbelievable. I think it's, I think it's a love for the job. 
Damn, I I like that. The job. It's an energy for the job. It's it's a I'm not done for the job. I think that's what it is. It's the still still much to do. And I think that that's what keeps me going. I, I feel I have lots to do. So I'm, I don't want to be sort of over there in a corner sitting like, you know, with a, with a blanket over my shoulders going, that's the end of it, man. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. No, uh, certainly not. Uh, out there in Los Angeles, Robin, do you do you find yourself going to to a lot of shows? Do you go as a fan? I mean, do you attend? You don't. I am such that, a, I'm a homebody. Your homebody. I'm a homebody. It's like once the job is done, see ya. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not one for going out and trashing the voice and talk, trying to talk louder than everybody else. And not my scene, never been my scene. Well, like, did you grow up going to concerts that were kind of influential? Oh, or? of course. Of course. I remember uh, as a 12 year old, I remember seeing uh, Thin Lizzy um, sitting cross legged on a floor with maybe, maybe, maybe two dozen people in a very tiny room in my local town. And I remember distinctly the next time I saw, went, went, attempted to go see Thin Lizzy, there was like 40, 50,000 people. I saw Live and Dangerous at Wembley Stadium, both nights. <laughs> wow. um, and then of course, as the years went on, I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would actually get to perform and record with the great Scott Gorham and Brian Robertson. And, and, and Brian Downey was actually, um, he was there for auditioning for the Macaulay Shanker period. So I <laughs> never got to meet Phil, which was my biggest regret, unfortunately. But I'm, I was a huge Lizzie fan. Um, so I would go to see bands, obviously, like that. I saw, I saw, given my age really away here, I actually saw a band called Lindisfarne out of Scotland opening for Genesis with Peter Gabriel on the Foxtrot tour. That's amazing. You know, so, so that's the kind of stuff was that was that was in my genes, man. <laughs> well, okay, Robin. You know, we we poke some fun at, at Michael and his age. You talk about his birthday coming up. We Thank sort of you. we we got to bring up fun. one. We have another one coming up, and it's yours. And it's sort of a it's sort of it one is. of those decade turning birthdays, as we say. We're not going to give it away. You, our, our my wife, are, my wife is going. You know, you have to do something, and I'm going. Oh, I know, I have to do something. Yeah, and I know exactly. I'll probably be watching the the Game of Thrones for the tenth time. <laughs> that, but I, I mean, put to, to, when the, when the decades turn like that, does it does is there a perspective that sets in? You're like, because I mean, you kind of join the uh, we'll call it the. I'm just going to give it the uh, the the Alice Cooper Gene Simmons club. You know, there's a you know people want to look it up. They can Google. Google, Google my club. Google my club is. I'm there by the grace of God. Thank you. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> I, I'm get, I, I've spoken with Jean a little bit, set up some interviews in the past. So I, I know her. I, I think she's probably got something special coming up for you. I'm just, really? just just guessing. I don't know. She's she's a pretty cool lady. She's an artistic person herself. People don't realize she's done a lot. Yes, you must sir. be proud of her as well. I am extremely proud of that woman. And 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 again, she's not nearly done. She has so much more in a bucket list. You know, becoming a nurse throughout the pandemic, she took that on because wow. I wasn't in Vegas five nights a week. And she goes, hey, you're home now. I could, I could do that nursing school thing that I wanted to do for years. She's a, a director of a eating disorder um, facility. So she takes care of young adolescents. Wow. And she's part of therapists, uh, psychs, counselors, taking care of those, 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 those young anorexic girls who are it's a real disease in need of some real help. And so she loves to, that's what she does. She's a, she's a caregiver. She's, she's a care, 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 care person. How long have you guys been married now? We will be married 30 years this coming October. Same woman. <laughs> I mean, yeah. what was she thinking? <laughs> no, that's not what I was thinking at all, Rob. But I, th- you know that we've, had no, a lot of in- thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> all I could say is that we know that we've had you on the show a lot of times when th- th- this becomes the topic of conversation. We've, we've gone down a lot of roads over the years, yes. Robin, and I'm glad that this is kind of where we're at because uh, you yeah. and, and what you've done in your career and just you as a person getting to know you, it's been so important and, and artists like oh, you, it's why, it's why we do what we do. Thank That's you. why I do what I do. I, 
I, I knew Robin a long time ago that this nine to five jobs, like I, I knew when I was a kid, I loved this style of music. I saw my uncle's kiss record and I was like, I don't know what this is, but I want to, I want to do that. No, I can't do that. Like you do that, you know, but you're the doing, bo- you're doing what you love. Yeah, exactly. You love, man. So important. Well, Robin, I want to make sure you're ahead of your interview schedule. So I'm going to cut you loose, that. my friend. You you are continued success alive. Again, you can pre-order the album through Frontiers Music right now. Uh, and you can check Robin out on all the social medias, uh, frequently updated, and you can catch up with news. It's going to be February 17th when the album's officially out. Pre-order it now, alive. It's great, Robin. Thank you so much. God bless you, my friend. A pleasure. Always. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.